and welcome back to our channel. I look like a robot. <laughs> Hello, guys. <yeah. laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to our channel. It took us a while to do this next video because life was happening and all. But yeah, we thought we'd show you around the city that we're living in for five years now. It's a charming little city in Transylvania called Mediash and we will take you on a little tour that we did last year and show you some cool hidden gems of this city. <laughs> Throughout our years, uh, even individually, we've lived in a bunch of different places. Like Hamburg, California, Sihishwara, Severin, and Timishwara, we met. <laughs> And now we live in Medias for five years and who knows where we'll end up. <laughs> so obviously everything that you see in this video is recorded before the COVID-19 crisis. And uh, hopefully when things get back to a little bit of normal and traveling becomes safe again, we hope that Medias will be on your next destination now. So we have a lot of hidden gems and cute treasures in this video and we hope you like them. <laughs> yes. So our first step of the tour is the synagogue in Mediash and although it wasn't part of the, of the official tour uh, we managed to get some footage of the beautiful building. The interior space is divided into two main sections. It's uh, the entrance area and the ceremony hall. As you can see the Torah Ark is the main architectural feature of the interior. You can see some lacy profiles and round tall windows. It's a very beautiful building and we are very lucky that we had the chance to visit it from the inside. The building also has an inner garden. It's designed to host cultural events. We even had a concert there last summer. Yeah, that was the first time we actually went to the synagogue. Yeah, it was a very, very nice um, experience there. actually in the house next to the synagogue and uh, our good friend Alexandra talked about the uh, great Jewish cuisine and uh, prepared some uh, goodies for us. She was the host of the first part of this tour. Uh, she prepared some delicious iconic Jewish dishes for us to try. She made um, latkes which are something like potato pancakes. They're really good. Yeah, they were crispy on the outside and somehow fluffy on the inside. They were perfectly made. I don't know how she made that. She also made a delicious vegetarian chopped liver spread, which you eat with the chala. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's um, a special bread in the Jewish cuisine. She made a whole, a whole spread of delicious treats for us to try out and it was amazing. Delicious, good thing we're vegetarians. Uh, we should uh, talk to her and get some recipes and maybe we should dive into the kosher Jewish cuisine, get ourselves on a cookbook because uh, being vegetarian sometimes is kind of difficult so why not go outside our boundaries and try some, uh, try different cultural cuisine. It was really interesting to look through the cookbook of the family and traditional recipes that she had there. So currently there are two permanent expositions that you can visit in the house next to the synagogue and um, they invoke an atmosphere of a different time, which is really interesting to experience. We had uh, Lydia Pop. She's uh, an author, a raw, raw food chef, a nutrition consultant. Yeah, she's like a superhuman. Yeah. She has a passion for beautiful garments um, that are somehow a legacy left by the people who lived in Transylvania. Lydia explained everything. She knew the history of each and every piece she presented. And some of them were insane, I mean, made with fiberglass and literally taking hundreds of hours of manual labor. So this was pretty much it with the synagogue and the house next to it. We went to our next location and we were really lucky because it was a sunny day and uh, although it was very cold. So we arrived at Café Ture Pits where our next host slash guide Lutz Connor, the owner of the Café Ture Pits, awaited us with a 
traditional horseradish soup. So our host was uh, really nice and shared with us some of his cookies that also were for sale. I really liked the interior. It seemed like I was at Lutz Connor's house, not his uh, place of business. As we mentioned, we are vegetarians, so we didn't try the horseradish soup, but our good friend Lotzi from Tourist in Transylvania um, conveniently let us film him while he was um, very naturally eating <laughs> his soup. Um, the soup had brains in them, so yeah. um, it was a soup with a very high IQ. But it's a traditional Transylvanian yeah. dish, so if you are um, curious. curious, you should definitely give it a try. Absolutely. Here in this location, they even have a book club hosted once a month and um, I currently joined that book club and it's really nice and fun. So like we said, this tour was about the more hidden gems of our city, Mediage. Um, the most known or the most famous attraction is the St. Margaret's Church. It was not included in this tour, but if you are coming to visit Mediage, you should definitely include this. Leave a comment and you can grab a coffee with us at Turepitz Cafe. So we continued our uh, walk through the historical center going up to our next uh, location, which is Terracotta. So Terracotta Medias is very fascinating because it's the last remaining factory that produces handmade tiles and hand-painted tiles with a hundred of year old recipe. It's, it's amazing and this tour was absolutely incredible, but you will see as we dive into it. And because this was a, also a culinary tour, George from Terracotta awaited us with a traditional Romanian dish. George Radu, he is the manager of the Terracotta Medias. He was really passionate about everything that he, he did there and he prepared for us. He gave us a detailed tour and like Ella said, he's really passionate about what he's doing. So he knows what he's talking about. As we entered the factory, you had the impression that you were in somebody's art studio. The atmosphere was very rustic, um, but it was kind of charming. You can see all, a lot of tiles, different shapes, sizes, colors. I mean, they're really proud of what they're doing and they, uh, they should be. So we entered the part where they basically make the tiles and there's also a cool slide where the tiles can go down and go to the next process. As a fact, the, the factory archives houses an extensive collection of tiles and molds from Transylvania, which is pretty cool. And some of them are official replicas of some rare stoves from uh, the Astra Museum in uh, Sibiu. Comparing to other uh, terracotta factories, the one in Mediash is the only factory with permanent painters and sculptors as employees. So with their help, Terracotta can produce tailor-made fireplaces according to the customer's sketches. So they're really unique and really custom-made. George talked about the productivity of a worker in the Terracotta Mediash, which is about 800 handmade custom tiles per month. And comparing to an automatic factory, they can do about 7,000 tiles per day. 
you know, but you can't really compare perfect tiles made by machinery with handmade tiles made by someone's basically hand. So it was really amazing to see the, the workers at work and George really took the time to explain how all of it is made. Another great thing about the Terracotta factory is that they actually allow customers to come in and paint their own tiles. They allow tourists to come in and they can paint their own tiles and you know take them home. And uh, if you want to place an order for a stove or a fireplace, you can go in, paint that tile, make it unique, make it your own, take it home. And every time you look at it, you remember how you stood there and how you painted it. They continue to manufacture hand-pressed tiles and also hand-painted tiles while um, they retain the old recipe, the original recipe from the company's founding days. I will be so nervous to draw those tiles uh, while everybody's watching. We talk about terracotta the whole time, but we didn't tell you what terracotta actually is. So yeah, terracotta is a clay-based, um, glazed or unglazed kind of ceramic. So yeah, that's what this is made of. These stoves are made of. It's amazing how each detail is filled in meticulously by hand. The final products, they are stored in a separate room. They are ready to be sold, ready to be delivered next to the entrance and also slash exit we have the showroom this is basically you go in first and after you decided you want a stove you can uh, order some pre-existing tiles with uh, designs some of them they're custom made some of them they're from the archives and uh, we also have one of uh, these tiles uh, at home right thanks to george we now also have a tile from this beautiful factory Upstairs, Horatio and his dad from Transylvania Glass awaited us with a live demonstration of how glass is made. I've never seen this before. It was really fascinating to see how they basically played with fire, how they controlled it. So it was very fun. It was a cool experience and it was fascinating to see how those products are actually made. Yeah, so I got the chance to try it and it's really harder than it looks. Um, I thought it's really easy, but as you can see, I had to try a second time to uh, manage to do a sweet little Christmas globe. Coming up to the end of our tour, we learned more about the Transylvanian wine history. The wine tasting was obviously a delight for everybody. Tavi Isaila, who was the owner of the Caspari and Ambrosi brand, he did uh, a tasting for everybody and it was very, very delightful. And another cool thing is that all the earnings from advertising products and from the legend itself, he will be investing in renovating the Caspari house where the wine testing was happening, make it a proper museum and put back Caspari wine cellars on the map. I hope you enjoyed this tour. We certainly enjoyed participating in it. And also we got some cool stuff from this tour. If you're interested to find out more about the locations that you saw in this video, just um, read the description section. We left the links there to every, every place that we visited. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more cool stuff like this or other stuff. I don't know exactly what stuff. We'll see what life brings. Yeah, exactly. If you come to visit Medias, then leave a comment below and so we will grab a coffee. Hit us up, we'll go to Café Turepitz. Stay safe. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell.